We are here at the Boiler Room today doing auditions for DECA with our ACM students. I'm here with Sam Mumford from DECA. How has this opportunity come about? Um, I was given the opportunity through the DECA team and they told me about the wonderful ACM students and we decided to come along and um, check out the talent. And what, what are you hoping to discover today? Um, for me, it's a mixture of an incredible voice and um, wonderful songs, hopefully. So we're outside the boiler room in a very rainy Guildford, but we have had a fantastic first audition with Brooke for our Decca auditions. How did the audition go, Brooke? It went really well, yeah. I was shaking before I went on, obviously very nervous, but um, yeah, once I got up there, it was just doing what I usually do. Um, and yeah, I think it went really well. What's your like advice ahead of uh, these auditions for our students so they can make the most of it and really impress you guys? I think just to relax, treat this as a way of getting your music across to people and just to enjoy it really. I mean, I wouldn't want it to feel like a pressured thing for any of the artists. I was just speaking to a young kid actually and just finding out you know, he, where, what his approach is, whether he wants to be a songwriter or an artist as a performer, and just to relax and enjoy it, and he'll find his path. Because I forget, they're all very young, and you know, they're finding their way, and the school helps with that. So. Soon we've got Tom Gortler, who was actually our Basker winner in 2016, I believe. Um, he's gonna be auditioning for us. What's your tips to other students looking to like audition? What's your like, top three tips for preparing for an audition? Preparing for an audition? Um, Firstly, just go for it, you know, take the opportunity if it's there. A lot of people tend to kind of shy away from things and not want to get involved in things just because they don't really have a reason. So definitely put yourself forward for everything. When you've actually got the opportunity, make sure you're rehearsed. There's no point showing up and, and giving a terrible performance because you're never going to get anywhere. You know, obviously you'll do terrible performances, but rehearse to the point where it's really, really spot on. And just enjoy it, you know. If you're not enjoying it, then no one else is going to enjoy it. Everyone's going to want you off the stage. So just if you're having a good time, everyone else will have a good time. How important are these um, these opportunities for our students while they're still in education? Extremely important. I think it's a way of them building their confidence, building their craft, and also getting their music to people before. You know, we know nowadays as soon as you put your music up online, it's out to the whole world and. It's a way of testing, learning and building your skills, so very, very important. Khan, you've been setting this up with Industry Link. How do you think the day's gone? Yeah, it's been, it's been successful. I think we've managed to see uh, quite a few acts. Uh, there we had Steve and Sam from Decca Records come down from their a &R department. Uh, but due to the actual massive interest from the students, we're going to book another day with them. So hopefully within the next month or so, we can get them back in uh, just to yeah, see what ACM's got to offer. Hey.